Bi ambapo katibu katika wizara ya uchukuzi kwa sasa anazungumza na wanahabari kuhusiana na mikakati ambayo imewekwa katika uchukuzi wa umma. So officials from the Ministry of Water. Uh, here is a, a press statement. Uh, the State Department of Housing and Urban Development under the Ministry of Transport, Infrastructure, Housing, Urban Development and Public Works is in the process of implementing a multimodal public transportation strategy that incorporates the extensive commuter rail network with an improved bus rapid corridor network on five major links coordinating uh, co uh, the city with dedicated bus lanes. As you are all aware, Namata is charged with the coordination and implementation of these aims for the public, uh, for the Nairobi Metropolitan uh, transport, which covers the counties of Nairobi City, Kiambu, Kajado, Machakos, and Moranga. Being aware that there are in excess of two million journeys every day into Nairobi City, with half of the journeys being undertaken using public transport, we have gathered here to demonstrate our, solid, uh, our solidarity to advocate for a radical behavior transformation that will resonate with His Excellency, our President's call to curb the spread of COVID-19, otherwise popularly known as coronavirus. We recognize the great work that has been done by the National Emergency Response Committee on Coronavirus and related government, ministries, department, and the multi-agency team on informing and counseling the public on the recommended approach to promote prevention and the directives that have been issued to limit the spread of COVID-19. We also recognize the efforts by the Federation of Public Transport Sector, otherwise known as FPTS, in quickly putting in measures to actualize directives relating to public transport, including the directive to limit congestion in public transportation where possible, the directive to regularly clean, sanitize, and disinfect vehicles used for public transport, and especially during the transportation of children after schools were closed. The directives to provide soap, water, and all hand sanitizers. We have observed the cooperation of the FTPS and citizens using public transport who have adhered to the efforts to implement these directives. Jointly, we have also reviewed passenger travel operations and make the following recommendations. One, operators will sensitize their crews and customers on the immediate culture change required in social interactions under the emergency situation, including the importance of maintaining social distance. As has been noted by health agencies, the safe social distance of one meter apart should be adhered to strictly. At depot operations, drivers and crews will observe the strict behavior transformation to avoid unnecessary personal contract and frequent washing of hands with soap and, uh, and or hand sanitizers. At state operations, supporting staff including such workers as touts, dispatchers, booking clerks, traders, and, traders and others are enc encouraged to observe personal hygiene limit social contract, and wash hands with soap and or hand sanitizers frequently. Equipment and stands at the public transportation st uh, transport stages must be frequently cleaned, disinfected, and sanitized. Sanitizers must also be made available, uh, readily available. The drivers and crews will ensure hygiene in the boarding of passengers by sanitizing commuters and cleaning the passenger vehicles as provided in public health regulations. For border border service providers especially, we encourage the frequent cleaning, disinfection, and sanitization of helmets after each use as they require close contact with faces of travelers. Due culture, uh, due culture in boarding and alighting of passengers will immediately be changed to maintain zero contact and physical contact during operations. Seven, orderly queue uh, structures with instructions to follow the recommended uh, distancing of one meter must be observed and travelers must strictly avoid 
harassing and disorder. Eight, aged travelers will be handled with sensitivity by providing the safest seats remote from personal contact. Nine, operations must limit the use of cash and support the use of mobile money transfers as possible, as much as possible, given the recent measures announced by the central bank to facilitate mobile cash transfers. And 10, where the government has set up designated coronavirus screening facilities along a passenger corridors, operators and drivers should ensure that passengers are screened. Generally, we are in, we, uh, as we in the public transport system continue to take precaution, we would like to encourage the following. One, citizen to refrain from unnecessary trips and where possible, localize travel between zero and five kilometers to be undertaken on foot and bicycles. Commuters to observe personal hygiene, sanitize their hands and maintain strict wash and board policy without deviation. Three, commuters to avoid extensive skin contact when traveling in public transport vehicles. It is therefore advisable to wear clothes that cover arms and legs. Four, travelers when coughing and sneezing should do so hygienically by covering their mouths with elbows, handkerchief and, sun, and, sanitized, and sanitize their hands thereafter. Five, citizens should maintain constant vigilance on symptoms and should not expose others by traveling using public means if they suspect they are ill. We do recognize that one of the challenges that we will be experiencing with public transportation, especially on frequent trips, is traceability. To assist with traceability of passengers, long distance operators are encouraged to keep a passenger manifest with details. We hope over time to be able to address these challenges using technology as the industry advance, uh, as the industry advance and platforms for coordination are created. During this time, we would like to encourage all of us to maintain respectful behavior. Um, uh, let, let me uh, take that again. During this time, we would like to encourage all of us to maintain respectful behavior, uh, which will greatly improve the safety of travel for all passengers following uh, precautionary measures, will ensure that the services remain available and will continue to support social, economic activities and trade. No one wants to see the services come to a grinding halt in the face of growing concern on the exponential infection potential of the virus. NAMATA will together with requisite agency, um, uh, will work together with requisite agencies to support these efforts and the public safety uh, and, this, and, the, and the public to operate uh, safely. We urge the public to adhere to directives from government and to cooperate with us in the public transport sector. As had been noted, please note any suspicious cases through short, uh, any, uh, as has been noted, please report any suspicious cases through the short telephone number 719 and USSD code star 719 hash. One can also call COVID-19 hotlines on 0800-721-316. I repeat, 0800-721-316. 316, and this is a toll free number. Or 0729471414. I repeat, 0729471414. Or 0732353535. I repeat, 0732353535. Thank you and God bless you. I'd like now to invite the chairman of the FTPS. Yeah. If he's here to come and make um, to, to, to make uh, his uh, remarks, welcome. We are too crowded. Mm. Too crowded. Mm. <laughs> Thank you.
Na mtazamaji huyu hapo ni katibu wa ustawi wa mji mtazamaji ambaye ni bwana Charles Hinga akihutubia wanahabari pale kuhusiana na hatua ambazo zinachukuliwa kuhakikisha kwamba basi virusi hivi vya corona vimepigwa vita ama vime amepamana navyo kama inavyopaswa kama serikali na ni taarifa ambayo naiandaa mwenzangu